Hello, my name is Chris Holden and I'm principal at Normandale Elementary French Immersion School. I'm going to be sharing a little bit of information with you about Normandale Elementary and kindergarten at Normandale. So tonight you're going to learn about Normandale Elementary. You're going to learn about our PTO and our French intern program and hopefully many of your questions will be answered. Why send your child to an immersion school? So although the language is not important for accruing intellectual benefits, uh, French is still a great language to learn. Nationwide, hundreds of schools offer total, partial, or two-way immersion programs in many different languages. Uh, just along Highway 100 here, there are several immersion schools that offer French at Normandale and Spanish at several other schools. And this is a trend that continues to grow as interest in learning a second language grows as well. Worldwide, the number of students learning in two languages is in the tens of millions. Uh, last time we looked on Google, French was the second most frequently taught. And it's uh, arguably as influential as uh, English. It's the official language in 33 countries, and it's spoken on a number of continents across the world. You may have heard that kids learn uh, language more easily than adults. Uh, aside from having more time to learn a language and more brain space because they're not thinking about what they're gonna make for dinner or what they need to do for their work uh, or who they need to pick up from practice, um, it is true that there are developmental reasons why children learn a language more easily uh, than adults. And language immersion is an approach to second language learning that leverages some of these developmental reasons. Um, in language immersion, uh, the language is the medium as well as the object of, of instruction. So at Normandale, the way we teach math and social studies and science is through the French language. And by doing that, the students learn and social studies and reading, et cetera, but they also acquire a second language. We teach the same content and standards as the other Edina schools do. So if students are learning to do long division at Concord, they're learning to do, to do long division at Normandale. If students are learning about inference at Countryside, they're learning about inference at Normandale. So I talked a little bit about this in the last slide. Language development windows open and close during childhood, and the ability to learn a second language is highest between birth and the age of six, and then it undergoes a steady decline. It's unfortunate for those of us that are older than six. Uh, the adult brain can still learn new skills, so if you want to learn French along with your student, if they're at Normandale, uh, you can do that, but it's going to be more difficult for you than it will be for your student. Parents often ask, when and how do students learn to read and write in English at a French immersion school? So all of our instruction, except for uh, music, FIED, and art, between the grade garden and second grade is in French. We do not begin formal English language uh, arts instruction until grade three. Beginning in kindergarten and continuing through grade two, we introduce English literacy skills uh, through our media experiences with our media specialist. Um, it's worth noting as well that um, literacy skills that are learned in one language transfer to another language. So the literacy skills that our students learn in kindergarten, first and second grade, those same skills transfer uh, to English when they start learning to read and write uh, in English. Of course, uh, parents play a critical ro role in English language uh, development by reading to your student, by uh, helping them uh, by, by showing them writing 
uh, you can help your student acquire some of those English skills as well. Interestingly, um, the a majority of our students who do kindergarten through second grade at Normandale and begin English language arts instruction at third grade are already reading by in English by time they get to third grade. So they're, lear they're learning to read in French here at school, and then many of them pick up the English reading skills at home and transfer those literacy skills uh, to English uh, at home as well. Teachers at Normandale are a unique breed. Uh, they need multiple skills. They need to be able to teach children and teach them well, and they need to be able to speak French, and they need to be able to convey math concepts, science concepts, uh, health concepts in a second language uh, that's comprehensible to students. And so they're really the backbone of what we do here at Normandale. And we have licensed teachers and paraprofessionals with a high level of French pr proficiency from all over the world. Some of the countries that are represented include France, Lebanon, Senegal, Switzerland, Haiti, Mali, uh, and the United States. We have a number of uh, teachers who spent time overseas living in France or other uh, Francophone countries and who have come back to the United States and pursued a teaching career here at Normandale uh, that uses their French skills. Our kindergarten teachers um, are, we have uh, six of them and they're highly skilled at getting kids to learn and understand in a second language that they may or may not have ever heard before. Uh, they use a lot of mime and song, uh, hand gestures, uh, short of standing on their head, they're willing to do just about anything to convey uh, concepts to our kindergartners in French. So you may wonder what kindergarten looks like at Normandale. We've uh, pulled together a video that we can share with you right now. Um, I will be dumping this slide deck onto the Normandale website. So if you wanna go back and view this um, video in a different format, maybe a little bit more viewable, uh, you can certainly do that uh, once this is uploaded to our uh, Normandale website.
So that was a little taste of what kindergarten looked like pre-COVID. This year it's looked a little bit different. Hopefully we'll be back to normal uh, in 2021-22. Kindergarten at a glance. So our day begins at 8.40 at Normandale and our day ends at 3.15. Because it's a district-wide program, busing is provided. So no matter where you live in Edina, there is a bus that will pick you up and bring you to Normandale. This gives you an idea of how the day is structured uh, in a kindergarten classroom. Uh, You'll see in the core instruction area, we cover math, French language arts, social studies, health, and of course, social and emotional learning, which is super important in kindergarten. And then kids on any given day, uh, they will have one. Uh, So once a week they they get art, Uh, twice a week they have music, twice a week they have physical education, And then once a week, they visit the media center and do some work with our media specialist and check out books. We offer breakfast. Uh, There is, you're welcome to bring a snack to school for a snack. And we offer lunch at school as well. And then there are frequent breaks throughout the day for our kindergartners because their brains are working really hard. Kids Club. Uh, Kids Club is our before and after school uh, child care programming, um, and they, they run, I believe, 6.30 in the morning until about 6 in the evening. So for those parents that are working and need child care, uh, Kids Club is a nice option, and there's more information uh, at the website listed uh, on this slide. One of the things that makes... Um, Normandale really unique is that every year uh, we recruit, train, and house uh, up to 22 interns, French interns, who work alongside uh, Normandale staff and students in the classrooms. Uh, They are truly language and culture models for students and our staff. Uh, And they're native French speakers. We go out and recruit them and then um, provide all the training and Uh, bring them over to the United States for a really unique cultural experience for both the interns and for the families and our students uh, in the building. Uh, One of the things that's nice about our intern program is it allows uh, our teachers to break our classrooms up into smaller groups and provide a little bit more uh, intense and focused work with students around French language and reading. Uh, The intern program is completely supported and funded by our parent community. Uh, We do a lot of fundraising to support that program. And our our, uh, Normandale, Valley View, and high school families provide room and board for our French interns. Um, Typically, we need between 60 and 64 families to step forward uh, and volunteer to host uh, an intern for one semester. Uh, at a time. So the interns stay with one family the first semester, and then mid-year they change and go to another family for the second semester. So French immersion does not end after Normandale. Uh, Edina's French immersion program continues into the middle school at grades six through eight. And then students can access advanced advanced French classes in grades nine through 12 at the high school. Uh, We do still try and provide interns to our extended French program at Valley View and to our uh, advanced French classes at the high school. Uh, And these are uh, really, it's sort of a unique experience for our kids to go a little bit deeper with the language and into some subject areas uh, that uh, are a little bit um, that touch on maybe theater, social studies, et cetera, uh, that they maybe didn't cover here at Normandale. How do you get into Normandale? That's a big question. Um, So admission to Normandale is by lottery. Families that have students already enrolled at Normandale are guaranteed a spot uh, for their kindergartner, provided they fill out the application. It's called sibling preference. It's a random lottery. 
Typically, we are uh, open to 108 uh, kindergarten students every year. Uh, if your name is not drawn, you're added to a waiting list. And if we have movement on the waiting list, we call families and let them know that they're, uh, that a spot is open for them. Open and accepted if there are fewer than 108 Edina School District students. Uh, if you're interested in open enrollment, you need to submit that open enrollment paperwork by January 15th. And you can see the uh, website there at the bottom of the, uh, this slide. Uh, the timeline for getting into Normandale or the timeline for applying to Normandale. Uh, so January 6th at 6 p.m. is the deadline for all Edina School District residents. That's your preference deadline. January 14th, letters are mailed to parents noting whether or not uh, they were accepted or whether or not they're on a waiting list at Normandale. And then between the 14th and the 22nd, you have like a week there to uh, make your final decision and register uh, for kindergarten if, you're, uh, if you were notified that you were accepted. So you wait to register until you receive your placement letter informing you that you'll be registering for Normandale. And then again, uh, there's a link at the bottom of this slide with some additional information about the timeline and registering. I wanna thank you for taking the time to uh, listen to this screencast. If you still have questions about elementary, you can join us on December 3rd at 7 p.m. I will run through uh, the same set of slides. I will also have uh, a few teachers with me who can uh, answer questions related to curriculum. Um, but if your questions were answered with this slide, we'll look forward to seeing your application come in uh, for the next school year. Thank you.